waiting to actually go live. Excellent. And so we continue our little game. It's been a couple of days, it feels like. Although it might just mean we're going fishing. We should be able to cook here. Loading. Yep, yep. I need another set of three th times five, 35 times five. Decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. Huh. All right. That's not a fish I see often. There certainly are a wide array of fish on Dana. That's a 1,200 fish. Good. <clears throat> All right. Last little sliver of life. Well, the fish. that wasn't much of a challenge. Nice, you caught it. Yep. Twelve hundred fish, four hundred fish. <laughs> yeah. Reel it in. I just want to push hard before it even tells me to. I'm just getting a little high. She's got a good size to her, all told. That flapper was a true fighter.
There we go. It's kind of weird to be sitting here, like, trying to choose which fish I want to catch up to the one that I kind of see. Looks like I hooked a pretty rare fish. I see you've gotten even better at this. Ha! Reel it in. That's not a fish I see often. I see you've gotten even better at this. I mean, you say that, but I definitely have like a lot of these in there. Huh. Uh. I've got something. That's a bit of a letdown. Maybe you could keep it as a pet. I have no idea what that fish is for. <laughs> there we go. us in a big one that flapper was a true fighter the big one or is there something more to why we saw her eyes? Looks like I hooked a pretty rare fish. So what's it to be? Grilled or broiled? Huh. 
All right. Fishing the lots. That's not a fish I see often. Wow, what an awesome fish you caught! I mean, my main objective at this point. Let me see what I have as my options. But I just caught like a what bunch of those. What do you say we check back in on the ramp? No, 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 I don't want to do that. Rest easy and prepare for tomorrow. Let's get more dropped items. Thanks for waiting. Eat as much as you like. Kisara, let's talk for a bit. I'll take watch tonight. I didn't even it's want okay. to sleep, but I guess it happened. Because, you know, I can't see the cook fire in front of me, and I'm like, talk to the merchant, talk to the merchant, talk to the merchant, talk to the merchant. Oh, yeah. Before we go... So, do you guys have everything? thousand right then um because you're gonna be in the fight even though it's not a huge jump for you Actually, even in the party right now. That's why I went fishing. Did we? Yes, we needed to spend that much money. Long Kassar are sitting on the outside, so Dolim is the person who really just spend that much money. For. We're just gonna go anyway. Fishing for money. I should start every one of these with just fishing for 50 minutes. He didn't enter. Dead end? No, there's an elevator. It looks operational. I guess if you come here at different times, you just get nothing. There's the boat from the intro movie. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. I only see Danits. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. take off in the Tales of Arise cupcake? It's not the USS cupcake. It's 
stolen goods. No immediate reaction from Dohali. More fish to sell. Who's the you didn't happen to see a lord come area? by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn! So we missed her! You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. What's the cut of your jib? Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there! You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me, or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set, and we'll set sail. I knew the jib was a sail. I didn't know my ship from my boom, so he knows more about sailing than I do. I mean, it's, it's that simple. There's a part of me that wants to have, like, the entire overworld opened up with a boat now. But I doubt the game is that big. It should be that big. <laughs> that ship doesn't even have sails. That's a better argument. That's a much better argument. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's Sounds like us. he's about to be seasick. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. And those they got a good there. head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any Danons on that ship? Probably. Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's gonna be a while before we reach her. Until then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. <laughs> I know Mahavar said we could take it easy, but there's not exactly a lot to do on this boat. I guess I'll check in on everyone and see how they're holding up. Yep. We're waiting on every all the invisible people to load. She's seasick. Um, who's there? I put the law back there. All right. Um, I will play the game by the book. I will try to play the game by the book and check on Xion first. Apparently, by walking. Past Rinwell over there, the game aside. Do you I want to talk think to Law is okay? Rinwell first. If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah. I think maybe I should apologize to him too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Us too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we'd prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. I hate her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahog Sar has people like Deadeye. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. 
I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well... I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <gasps> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alfin. Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. But, I guess, I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels... ...not being able to hold another person's hand. Much further, you'll go overboard. Keeping an eye out for Almadria's ship? I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean? Yeah. The waves. They help me think. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, and Nias its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually manage to put a stop to the Crown Contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? You first. Ooh. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... It's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good, too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans, too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet... They didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed.
You know, I've never actually touched another person like this. Fion. Ever since I was on Lenegas, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? <sighs> Do you still not remember your past? Whoa. No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. But then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. How does he know that? <sighs> well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <laughs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renis Alma, right? Then you can... Uh, Shion? Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that. Including... Especially you, Alvin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah, we are. Nothing. It's nothing at all. I took a look around inside the ship just <laughs> in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Good thanks. thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yeah, somehow the sea is different though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just it's goes like the world on rats. forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how much I play it back, I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria, but was that really the right thing to do? No. Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw up. You're not the only one. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think. How would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Zephyr's not the worst yardstick to measure ourselves against. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. It is the affinity ship that somehow made me talk to one person before I talk to someone else. Well, let's go to comically seasick character. You don't look so good. 
Are you all right? The floor. It keeps moving. <laughs> How can you stand it? How can you even stand? I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still That's can't true. believe what happened in Niaz. It's not about no one's come even now. It. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't as if the situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. Not supposed to be wanted. You mean dead I'm. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadeim. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us. But nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be, either. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadeim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not it give in to be. their resentment. I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Dolim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in, it's There's not solely in something sentence. the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadeim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadeim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days I'm not so sure that dream is even possible. You have your promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. I know. My brother. He truly believed in his dream of coexistence. And I suppose, even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Who, me? You and Xion. <clears throat> Not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? You and Dolin? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. Mm, I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? X Dragon, thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the bagel cage. Or two bagels enter and four slices leave. What do we have here? What magazine do gardeners read? What magazine? Technically, it says what magazine do gardeners like to read? Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Ooh. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. Not time. I only ended up crossing like paths with her a handful of times after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, oh, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? It's safe to assume they know everything, though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Yeah, that's a great gaping plot Perhaps hole. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? 
Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? No. Not to my knowledge, None of those no. answers. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something Weeders like the digest. Halloween would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the sovereign of Rena really that important to the lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least, I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did. As <laughs> utterly despicable Earth. as it is. Time with THY. It's maybe. reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead I'm did to that city, he didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menencia. But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well, you seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? <laughs> Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. I'm not sure what they I wonder how much longer about. it's going to be before we catch up to Almadria. I'll ask Mahar. No cooking. Look who's up. Good timing. We're closing in on her stern as we speak. Wow. That's the ship? She's huge. Law, go gather the others, will you? Think you'll be able to flank them without getting spotted? Yeah, with the fog as our ally, I think I might just pull it off. As long as we ain't too noisy, we should be okay. Where's your jib? What'll you do if they catch on to us? Not much I can do. Ship that size, they'll probably blow us to bits before we ready cannons. Where are they? S oh no, that's the. It looked like it was sailing to an island, but of course it is the ship. That's no moon. Is this the jazz ship? Slow games made it asked an excellent question. Persistent little things. Spirit vessel. Evidently, I shouldn't have spared the wretched vermin. She's not attacking us? I haven't seen one of these since the first guy. Hungry already, my dear. Worry not. 
For you shall have plenty to feast upon shortly. It's not a comfortable shirt. No, it's not. Her um, attendant looked like one of the people in the city, and I wonder if that's because that is the clothing a nameless NPC of this region wears, or if it's actually the same person. I think it's the first. Perfect. Thing. You managed to get us right up beside them. I'll stay with the ship so we can leave as soon as you're done. Good. Then let's find Almadria. Merchant? Is my horse meat ready? I thought this was going to be a fishing stream. We've now spent more time in cutscenes than we have fishing. Mobile Fortress, Grad Gradia. It is the jazz ship, but it's not jazzy. Now I'm just mad. Xion, um, I want to thank you. What brought this on? What you said helped to calm me. Uh, don't mention it. Destroy the core. Pretty much. Now that's what I call a ship. Yeah, the biggest one in all of Mahogsar. So big that it took years to construct. For all we know, Kelsalik may well have been smuggling materials to help build it. In which case it would be yet another mistake on my part. We don't know that she was only getting materials from Menencia. You think it's possible that they might have come from elsewhere too? Yeah, I guess I could see it. But what do you think Almadria plans to do from here on out, now that she's abandoned her realm and sailed out to sea? She'll be filling her coffers with gold, most likely. Then she'll sit back and enjoy the show as the other lords duke it out. Or something to that effect, at least. I wouldn't put it past her. She's strong, yet shrewd, and will stoop to any low. A dangerous one, indeed. She's not the first, and she won't be the last. This is a lord we're talking about, remember? Dahlin says, I'm Sounds right like here. Sounds like you've made up your mind already. There was never anything to decide. No one who can smile like that while doing what she did deserves to roam free. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I just want to point out we've had entire cutscenes about killing her for the right reason and stopping Rinwell from killing her for the wrong reason. And we're very much here to kill her without asking any more questions. This might not be the best time, but if you have a minute. Hmm? That mask of yours, it was shattered by a blow from Balsef when you fought back in Calaglia, correct? Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I thought I was a goner. Balsef's brute strength was in a league all its own. Yet half the mask remains. It's remarkably durable. Too durable to be Danon in origin. Shion said the same thing. As if the fact I was wearing it meant there had to be more to me than met the eye. You recalled your name when the mask broke, I hear. Yeah, that's right. Although to tell you the truth, I'm a little scared what might happen when I lose the remaining half. Mm. Then again, the idea of not doing something because I'm afraid scares me even more. That's why I go on fighting. Only he who first faces the night catches a glimpse of the dawn. Come again? Mm. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. He's using a metaphor. I'm doing it. She's opening up. I'm curious what happens if I just return to the crater. Yo, life bottles. The game's just giving me life bottles all of a sudden. That's actually worrisome that we opened up giving me life bottles. Although I'm glad I did not max out my count. There's another force field door for Law to not break open. Retreat if you know what's good for you. Bring him down! In a bind? Hard to the 
I'm gonna aim carefully while I'm getting my back just hacked away by some dude in the monocle. Commander of Heaven! Phoenix Barely a blip on our radar. Someone in Fastest Discord was talking about the item up thing being some of the best stuff to actually get. You think that shield will save you? So I do have it on. How did I even get up there? I love this move. Okay. Why has Alfin not picked up any new things? Uh, I'm gonna put this on our very the very basic attack and try and get something. Go find weapon material when I see it. Punch it. Got it. Are we going to unmagic it? Check that room, right? Uh, that went well. Are you okay? You're not too tired, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Let's keep moving. Don't want to leave shore without lettuce. That's why they wanted you to show up here after sleeping one to make sure that you definitely had the cure points full so you could do that. Go no further! That's what I was doing. This year. What just happened? Just using it once got an explosive ring. Yeah, so there's that. Okay. Another incantation ruin. So that's kind of lame that this whole game I just needed one more way to have to happen. In an instant! But whatever, it's done. This is the fourth section. Don't get careless. What's yeah. this thing? Um Save that I got past the army of cutscenes. No, oh, this is the correct side. So this is going to be orb four of five, assuming orb five does not magically appear. Like, I I feel like. The pacing is off for the game to end here, for sure. This is the map. The 
desk is too high. We can't jump over it. I'm actually tempted to use that piece, Joe. Do I even have any apple gels? That's what I didn't do, is restock apple gels. Not that they do much at this point in the game. Yo, Mr. Crab, thank you so much for the Coming through. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Tales of. Tell me, have you ever considered your first Unfortunately, I don't think I'm hitting the other one. Scarlet Inferno! My turn! This one has a... a shield pop. The problem with enemies with shield is that if you don't hit all of them up front, you're kind of like stuck waiting for them to become weak enough to A comfortable win. Just get milk off of bed stands. Off the table. Side table? Side table. No choice. Here I go. In a bind. I'm not done. Drug attack. I'm glad I got another of the explosive. I got an explosive Certainly ring. Not bad. No complaints here. But now I need the rest to also start appearing. Some red soldier. So far, we might be able to make dinner after all. Of the trash. I can carve through. 
Follows up, you lose the strike. Hey, Poodle's quivering. I think we're about to be real lucky. Oh, they do move after me. Out of our way. I will show you any mercy. time we didn't even lose the combo. At the very least, he didn't have a moment to himself. Red enemies, I think I've seen a couple of these before. You can kill them, but it's much easier to combo them. I'm practically unstoppable. Never seen anything like it. It's an authentication key. They're quite common. Maybe where you're from, but this is new to me. It might go in an elevator somewhere. We should test it out. Thinking face emoji. Where's the enemy uh, combo meter? Just goes away. It looks like we're on three. Station some more. My exploits are bearing fruit. Mushrooms are fun. That lizard wasn't there a second ago, but it is also the invisible lizard. A little help. Here I come. Where are you, you going? Got you're finished! Oh, you're on! Dragon Sword! You'll pay for what you did! 
My party members are completely missing. No, thank you. See, this is what I'm talking about with this game. Like, so many games, you find the weakness, and the party knows, just spam the weakness. It feels like that doesn't happen in this game. Did she just, like, learn another ability entirely? When I told... This is, like, not the first time this has happened. When I say, use this spell. When somebody uses something else entirely. She learns the tech out of it. Which just goes to how much the party is not really using its spells. Well, see ya. I thought that was still going crazy for a second. Keep That's what my shield's for. Get behind me. Charge. I'll leave it to you. Lightning orb. Lightning casting. Behold. The earth pulls. Tectonic vision. Big Winwells is the only one we haven't seen. On your knees. Your mind. The natural defenses are still away. I'm a sitting duck. Retreat from this battle. Retreat? I was never. Dragon Force! Here, let me help. First aid! Lightning Orb! Dance in the ring! Lunar corruption! Lunar! By the power of your power! Shout! Lady Nova! I can't kill you forever! I need to help you. I have no limit! Dance in the ring! Dragon Force! Weak now! He's dead anyway. Ha! No. Extra dead. Scarlet Inferno! Totally! <laughs> because boss enemies must be killed by a strike. I've used a bit too much healing. Tails Party's banter is always fun. White and thus our strength yet grows. Magic emblem. Oh man, this is ridiculously more powerful. Why did I waste money on your armor? That's actually still really good for you. Lettuce? Lemons. Don't make lemonade. Make life take the lemons back. I'm not in the mood to yell too much right now. Don't get mad! No, okay, we'll stop there. Let's dispose of the trail. Take this! No, that's not it. Portal 2 is a great game for that game alone. Your reflexes will not serve you well here. Do it! Do it! In an instant! Impact cross! My turn! I'm the guy who's gonna burn your house down with the lemon. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! Yeah! And the puzzle Enemies that like keep going and dodging and everything like that. And you have to wait for somebody's boost meter to fill up again. It's actually kind of annoying. Our work is done here. 
Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. These don't seem like your run-of-the-mill Zoogles the remnants usually keep around. Indeed. I believe it's safe to assume these were used in her experiments. They certainly look as twisted as her. Even here. This is the cage, specifically, that has a Zoogle in it. None of the other ones do. This one has an exclamation point next to it. Instruments just like this back in Estaluba yeah. Forest. It looks and smells like some kind of medicine. Whatever this place was used for, I doubt it was anything of repute. Look, all I'm saying is ill repute is repute. Gotta regroup! I see what I won't save you! My shield! You really need Rinwell's boost. Rinwell's boost is the one that it makes sense to kind of limit you on because hers is a counter spell. In the middle of getting beat up, and his whole like combo meter just completely reset. He's a marksman. You can tell because he's using a flamethrower. Why is this status on it? Who's in a bright and shiny mood? Second point of order, we're just gonna leave the caged monsters caged. I guess we're an adventuring party, we're not monsters. L1 is where we came from. Here 
wonder if she gets the bonus damage for an airborne enemy. Our work is done here. Do Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I can't believe that happened. I think she has a dragon, so that's going to be really good. Plus, that's a huge attack boost. Um, that's the only thing I can really do. That makes sense. This is from the demo she liked ice cream. Items collected 50%. Is that like like the collection collector's book? So what happens if we go back to the freighter? Finally, some open space again. Oh, that's right, we got just a lot of raw cash as well. Um, everyone's armor is actually in pretty good shape. is kind of tempting. This is like the opposite of the other one, which was a lot of defense with a little boost to attack. Something specifically had wind damage. Because Brynwell is all about the wind damage. Like, that's her fireball. not having a uh, anti-paralysis charm. by a lot and then a lot and then attack does go up by 60 um, this is boosting your attack by 15 which does it boost it a little bit this is supposedly better and that raises earth damage which she doesn't have this raises wind damage which she has a lot of cool nobody has a paralysis 
else's charm right now. I don't know if that's doing anything for me. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Probably. some materials we don't need. Sure, let's chuck those. I don't know what the difference between penetration and attack is in this game. That, that's kind of the problem. This one specifically had defense 20. It has recovery speed up on it. That's interesting. It's not, it's not a lot. And this bumps into elemental attack instead of defense. And if I do run into anything that's weak against it, it'll be... I'd like to check their wares, if you don't mind. Let me just do one more thing, because, like I said, it will suck when I don't have anti-paralysis and I need it. going back in. Actually, let's make the, the leaf fish. Man, is it really 11.15? I need to sleep. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. That black sea background behind the green screen. Something feels odd. Okay, that's what you said a lot in the last dungeon, too. Uh, I'm going to save here. And we'll call this just short of 30 hours of gameplay. Um, yeah, it's just too late at night to keep going. I think uh, we're gonna move further in the ship next time, and we are much more, we are much better equipped, actually, now. Be on your guard. You know what I didn't do? <laughs> Item shop. And I hope this doesn't eat too far into my XP time, because I don't have more of that food. Finally, some open space again. Oh, wow. 
Those are easy to get more of. Finally max out apple gels. Spend so much? Yes, we did. Paired, but did we have? That was the only other thing I wanted to do before leaving was buy healing items, and I just forgot to do it. We have a ton of life bottles. Our orange gels will probably spend so pull much? out. Probably. I wish I was more confident about that. But now we'll. Now we'll raid poison girls in Mega Man 4 Game Boy. Good night. Thanks for hanging out.